The world is going through a major change, from gas-powered cars to electric ones, from cars driven by people to cars that drive themselves. But what if the next big step isn't just about what makes a car move or who's behind the wheel, but how the whole thing is put together right from the top down? Now imagine the idea of an upside-down, self-powered car. It's a concept that literally flips car design on its head. This idea mixes bold creativity with a touch of tribute to one of the most fascinating inventors alive today. This guy takes you step by step through a strange but groundbreaking idea, building a vehicle that powers itself and is built upside down. Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered car shows what's possible. Before we start getting into the technical parts of how to build an upside down car, it's important to look at the inspiration. Maxwell Chikambutso, an inventor from Zimbabwe, is known for making the world's first self-powered electric vehicle. He used a unique mix of green energy tools like magnetic converters and high-frequency inverters. His car created movement without being plugged into the grid or using a normal battery system. Chikambutso's invention went against what most scientists thought was possible. Even though his design is still debated and hasn't been widely repeated, it makes one thing clear, bold innovation is real. This guide takes that same daring spirit and pushes DIY vehicle building into a totally new direction. So why build a car upside down? At first, it might seem like a gimmick, something out of a sci-fi film or an unusual art display. But there's more to it than how it looks. Let's talk aerodynamics. The underside of most modern vehicles is flatter and better at cutting through air than the top. By flipping the design, you get a chance to test airflow in new ways, maybe reducing drag, making the car more stable, and improving how efficiently it uses power, especially if it powers itself. This project is not just about being creative, it's about rethinking how we build cars from the ground up. It forces you to think carefully about things like balance, how weight is spread out, where the engine goes, and how to keep both people and parts safe when everything is flipped. It's a real brain exercise, a maker's dream, and definitely something that will get people talking. This is what the future looks like. As inventors and dreamers, we have to keep pushing the limits. Making cars that are both self-powered and upside down isn't just a fun idea. It shows how we're moving beyond normal ways of thinking about vehicles, creating something new from scratch. Let's start with the upside down frame. The first and most important part of your build is the frame or chassis, it's the skeleton of your car. A normal car frame is built to keep things low and balanced. But if you flip it, you'll need strong beams on top, extra support to keep it from rolling over, which now becomes the normal position and changes to the shape of the frame itself. Materials you might want to use include chromoly steel tubes, very strong and used in race cars. Aluminum alloy keeps things light without giving up too much strength. Carbon fiber panels, good for parts of the frame that don't carry weight and help lower the total weight. Challenges to think about include the center of gravity, now the heaviest parts sit higher up. That makes balancing things tricky. The suspension parts that connect the wheels will also need new designs so they keep the tires touching the road. Doors, seats, and controls like the dashboard all have to be redesigned to fit the flipped setup. In a normal car, the engine sits low to keep the car steady. When the car is upside down, the engine goes higher, so you'll need special mounts to keep it in place and spread out the weight. The suspension also has to be changed to make sure the tires stay flat on the road. Now, let's look at the engine and power system, this is where Maxwell Chikambutso's work comes in again. Choosing a self-powered engine means looking at different options. Electric motors are great because they're simple, have quick torque, and can easily work with custom energy systems. Hybrid systems are more complex but can give you more range. A Chikambutso style self-power system is the most ambitious. These could use magnets or inverters and are very hard to build but exciting for advanced creators. Modifying the engine to work upside down isn't easy. Most engines need gravity for oil and fuel flow, and for cooling. So you'll have to change oil systems, maybe go with a dry sump system. Fuel systems might need new positions or paths. Cooling will need electric pumps and different radiator placements to stay effective. You may also need to design a totally new powertrain. One option is a mid-engine setup with chains or belts to drive the wheels in the new position. Electric motors built right into the wheels could make this part easier since you wouldn't need long drive shafts. 
Now let's talk about building the body of the car, where design meets function and turns it all upside down. Forget traditional molds and panels. You'll need to shape everything in reverse. Fiberglass or other composites can help you build a new roof, now the base of your vehicle. The part of the car that was once the underside is now the top, and it will house the driver's seat, mirrors, and lights. Use computer cut brackets and carefully align mounts to keep everything solid. To keep things light and strong, use materials like polycarbonate for the windows and body panels, recycled plastic and 3D printed parts to add an eco-friendly touch. Aerodynamics need special care now. Air will flow over the car in a completely different way. Use software like CFD, Computational Fluid Dynamics, to figure out where to add spoilers or diffusers. Small features like vortex generators can help manage airflow, reduce lift, and improve how the car moves. Add active flaps to help control speed and give better grip. Testing is key before you take it anywhere. Start with tests while the car is still in place. Check the frame for stress and the suspension for how it handles bumps and movements. Use a dyno or test bench to run the powertrain. When you're ready for a real test drive, go slow. Use a closed space like a track or big parking area. Try fast stops, turns, and climbing small hills. Record everything using cameras and sensors. After the first round of testing, you'll need to adjust things like Weight spread to keep the car from pulling to one side. Suspension strength to deal with gravity working in a different direction. Cooling and airflow, which may work differently now that everything is flipped. Once you've fixed those issues and everything's working right, you'll have something truly one of a kind. Your upside down, self-powered car is more than just a ride, it's a moving science experiment and a loud message that says innovation is still alive. Picture pulling up to a tech show or car event with a machine that looks like it breaks the rules of physics. It's not running on gas or even regular electricity, but on energy it makes by itself. People won't just ask, how fast does it go? They'll be saying, how did you build this thing? Make sure to record your entire journey, use video, sketches, and detailed diagrams. Share it online so other creators can get inspired. You'll be part of a new movement in how we think about and build vehicles. The upside